let's um, let's try a question. So let's say you have a pulse of electromagnetic radiation detected at a particular location A, and when you measure it, you find the electric field is in the negative z. Excuse me, the electric field is in the negative x direction, and the magnetic field is in the negative z direction. What's the direction of propagation? In which, in which direction is the wave traveling, or the pulse traveling? Okay, it's got to be negative y direction, right? Direction number four. We're just saying that we've just changed the orientation of the pulse here. The electric field is this way, and the radiative electric field, we should say, negative x direction, uh, radiative magnetic field pointing in the negative z direction. So direct the direction of E crossed with the direction of B gives you the direction of Propagation, which is downward. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, what? I okay, let me just show one more thing. What's that? What did I just draw there? That, that, that. A, a, say again. A, a distance legend, and that distance corresponds to what? Someone said it. The wavelength. The wavelength, right? It's the distance from uh, one peak to a successive peak. So when these peaks line up here and here or here and here, right? That's that's what we call a wavelength, okay? So from one maximum to the next maximum. Um, okay, so that's a wavelength. So in this, well, let's draw a sine wave again. That's a wavelength, and sometimes that's given the symbol lowercase lambda, okay? So lambda is wavelength. Uh, if I were to clock the amount of time it takes for one of these observation locations to go from this minimum to a maximum and then back to a minimum again, that total time is called the period, okay? One over the period is frequency, the rate at which th that's the number of waves going by per second, right? So T is the period. Uh, little f is a frequency. That's the number of cycles per second or waves per second. So this is in seconds. Frequency is in well, it's hertz, which is a cycle per second. And that's one over the period. And if you're talking about um, waves, electromagnetic waves, we, there's a relationship between those quantities because we can say that the speed of light is equal to the wavelength divided by the period, right? Meters per second, or this would be then the wavelength times the frequency. So if you know the frequency of light, uh, you can fi figure out the wavelength by just using that equation, okay? Okay, so we know then about electromagnetic radiation, at least we know, we know that we can have sinusoidal radiation. We'll come back to that later in uh, next week. 